If you had asked me last year, the most dreadful thing for me about Canada was the winter. This is my second winter and my opinion has kind of improved. And that is because I try to go out more in winters, try new winter activities and just embrace the weather as the locals do. So this time around, my partner surprised me with a winter getaway to Muskoka Lakes. Oh wow, yaar! Then it's very good! And in this video, I'm going to show you how to have the most perfect winter getaway from Toronto with recommendations about what to do, where to go, where to stay, what to eat and basically everything you need to know to make your winter getaway the most memorable experience ever. We started off with a day full of surprises to say the least and my first stop was Unionville where we were supposed to grab coffee and breakfast. Unionville is a little hamlet in Markham and it looks like a town straight out of storybooks. There are historic buildings, trendy cafes in those buildings and so many things happening all year round. Mine was a short visit but looking at how beautiful this town looked i'm gonna go there and spend a full day checking out everything that this place has to offer we had brunch at espresso 21 cafe and i'll be very honest i was super engrossed in eating my food that i forgot to vlog about it the food was nice the coffee was amazing highly recommend it and from here we headed towards our destination until this time i still had no idea where we were going so i was not even taking guesses because i wanted to be surprised but before that surprise came i was surprised with something else as well I got my birthday presents. This year, I got the DJI mic and GoPro Hero 12. A big thanks to my partner who got these things for me. He knows how much I love vlogging tech, so I'm kind of very easy to surprise and get gifts for because you know, it should be either related to travel or YouTube or vlogging and I'll be just the happiest ever. I set up the mic and the GoPro Hero 12 and this vlog is entirely shot on GoPro Hero 12 using the DJI mic. If you want a review about both of these things, let me know. I'll make a different video about it and post it on a different day. And while you're here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. After a nice two hours drive, we reached Port Carling and we checked into our room at Muskoka Lakes Hotel. And you have to see this place. Yeah, it's very this is such a cute room. Okay, now let's check this out. Oh wow! Oh my god! Oh wow! Yaar! Then it's a good thing. I'm not going to go. Oh, Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, I had no idea we were coming here and coming into this room, I was already like pretty much happy with how it looked. It was so nice and rustic. And then I opened the curtains and look at that view. I mean, how beautiful is that? Uh, I don't feel like going out. It's already cold, so I don't know if it's worth going out or not, but it is beautiful, beautiful. Wow. We're staying here for two nights. It was a surprise. I had no idea we were staying here. I had no idea we were coming here. So I am pleasantly surprised. I love going out and staying at places for my birthdays. <laughs> but let me show you this whole room because it's really good. As soon as you enter, there's this massive bathroom. I mean, there's a shower and that's the bathtub. It's all so good. And it is a massive bathroom. And then there's a full kitchen. I'm not joking. You can cook here, a coffee maker, a kettle. This is a small fridge and there's a big fridge as well. It's it's a full kitchen. They also have like given us glasses and cutlery and crockeries. You can cook a full meal here. This is basically a family room, so I can imagine kids and parents staying here, but look at this. And how cute is that? It's giving me those, you know, antique vintage vibes. I love it. And after freshening up a little bit, we went to check out Port Carling, which is a super popular summer destination, but I want to see how it looked in winters. Now 
This is Port Carling's photo wall and there are about 9,000 photos looking back into the history of this region and it looks very intriguing when you look from the, that side and then you come closer and they're like separate photos which just are an essence of what this town used to be. This is such a cute town but it is really cold. The wind kills you. After that we headed to Foodland which is the only grocery store in Port Carling. Got some snacks and mixers and then went to buy wood-fired pizza for dinner. I'll be very very honest, I went with zero expectations because I thought this will be the average pizza joint. But when we ordered and tried the pizzas, they were so good. We got some chicken wings, one pizza and a mac and cheese and it was probably one of the best pizzas I've had which is authentic as well as tastes really well and makes you full. The prices were also not that bad so I definitely give this place a thumbs up. As usual I did not vlog myself eating because I was so engrossed in eating and when the food is good, you know me, I forget to take videos. This is day 2 and we start our morning with some coffee. Since it was off season there were barely any places open for coffee but we found one which is called Oliver's Cafe. It was at a fuel station and we headed there to grab a nice hot cup of coffee and some light breakfast. This was my first time trying out bagels and I had no idea why I was not introduced to this delicacy before. I had the everything bagel with garlic and herb cream cheese and oh my god I was blown away by how soft the bagel was and how amazing the cream cheese tasted. This became my go-to morning breakfast for the next two mornings. This fuel station also had a DIY pizza kiosk. Um, I don't know if it was working but you could get pizzas from here. Cool stuff right? And then we found this place. We took some really cool drone shots and I'm going to show you right now. Traveling during off-season has its own pros and cons. I was pretty much okay just standing here and looking at the view, admiring it for the whole day. But I also wanted to go and check out what all is available to do here even if it's limited. And after a little bit of search, I found out that Muskoka Lakes Farm and Winery is open all year round apart from a few holidays. So I thought let's go and do some wine tasting because it's been quite a while since I did this. These are all, I think, wineries. The wines, the vineyard. What do you think about this cheese? Ko? <laughs> we have two flights of off dry and sparkling wines. So let's get to it. The first one we have is a cider. It's, it's very good. It's pretty good. If I like something, I'm gonna take it. That's the plan. Next one we have is called backflip cider, which is apples and blueberries. Nah, I don't like it. It's so this one is an off dry wine, cranberry blueberry, which is 50/50 of made with cranberries and blueberries. It's supposed to be fruity and full, great with Thai food. It is actually very nice. It's it's very very nice. The next one is called. I'm, I'm, I don't. I don't know anything about these wines. I'm like just reading off of the paper. The next one is blueberry, 100% blueberry, and she said that it's like blueberry jam in a cup. There's an aftertaste to it. Next one is red maple, which is maple syrup with cranberries, and it looks like maple syrup. Uh, I'm pretty intrigued by how many flavors they have. It's pretty interesting. I've never had like cr wines with cranberry or blueberry. It's always grapes. So this is interesting. Oh, this is so sweet. It's like very, very sweet. Wow. Very sweet. It's like having honey. Achha, the next one we have got is potash. Oh, this is good. It's like dark chocolate, but it's nice and sweet and like it's it's full, it's full bodied. I think that's what you say. It's, this one's pretty good. This is, I think my second favorite now. He gives the most honest reviews. So we are getting cranberry blueberry and the blueberry wine. 
Neither of us are big on wines, but this wine tasting experience was so good because we ended up liking quite a lot of their flavors. And not only do they have just the off-dry wines, they also have ciders and sparkling wines, which are a great combination with different things. I would definitely recommend you come here, try the different types of wines they have to offer and tell them your taste. So we told them what we liked which is kind of like on the sweeter side and they recommended us the two flights that we should try and we paid about $12 for each flight plus taxes. One flight has four types of wine and we got two flights so we paid $24 for eight different types of wines. They also have a selection of cheeses that you can try with that is a little more expensive but if you're into cheeses you could try that as well with the wines. Hey guys, we just got back from our day in Muskoka. We were checking out other different places. There was a town called Pala where we had lunch and wow, what a day. So there's some pros and cons of coming to this place during off season. Uh, I'll start off with the cons. It's the fact that if you're coming here during winters, there's not much to do here. The place is closed very, very early. I spoke to a local girl today and she said that some places, some businesses close off during late October-ish all the way until May. So there's barely anything available, especially restaurants. Half of them are closed. They're temporarily closed for like five, six months. So you don't really have many options to do or eat or see things. Muskoka is like pretty much famous for its water activities, but you can't really do that here during this time of the year. Like going on trails and stuff is also very limited. The roads are very icy if they're not like the highways and the main roads. So driving is also kind of... So yeah, in general, there's not a lot to do here during off season, but I would still recommend you to come here during off season or during winter months, at least once in your life after you're done with your summer and autumn trip, do a winter trip here. It's just two and a half hours from Toronto. And the reason why you should come here off season, off season is because a, it's not crowded at all. So you get to do and see a lot of things without the crowds. Like we stopped at random places, took pictures, took drone shots, and there was not a soul by to disturb us. And also accommodations are cheaper. So the place I'm staying right now, it's called Muskoka Lakes uh, Hotel, I think. Uh, and it is really nice. It's like right on the lake. And uh, my partner was telling me that if you go and check for summer 2024 dates this place is booked out so that is one thing that i actually love about traveling off season is that you get a great deal on really amazing places to stay at and if you can't really go out you can stay in you can have a staycation so that's what we were aiming to do this time on this trip we just woke up and you have to see what i just saw Okay, our trips are not complete without a hike or a trail. So we are here at Hardy Lake Provincial Park to check out the Hardy Lake trails. This is one of the most popular winter walks in Muskoka area. So I'm gonna go there and hope I don't slip and fall into the lake. <laughs> yeah, and it's pretty cold. So I'm putting on everything I have. I have a thermal layer. I have a light jumper. I have a fleece shirt and now I'm gonna put up my puffer jacket as soon as you get in there's a tiny car park and here are the trails okay if you're going on a winter trail make sure you're wearing the right shoes right snowshoes or even have crampons on thankfully it snowed last night and it's all covered with snow otherwise this trail was pretty icy i mean i can hear the ice crunch so everywhere are these markers and we are taking the b trail which is the shorter and easier one and b trail is basically three kilometers loop and look at this i mean all of this is frozen that's all water and that side as well it's all water oh my god i have never seen something like this It 
is so <laughs> cold. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you get this gust of wind and it's like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Dan's question, are there polar bears here? Now, I need you all to answer this question. I'm so glad we did this one. We were looking for things, what we can do. There was like, like the option for Santa's village, but then that was booked out that we were like, let's go and do a hike. We, are, we didn't do any this, this time. So we are here. I'm glad we are. that all of that is frozen <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing a phenomena like this oh my god look at that part like that line that's where the water freezes and after that it's not frozen whoa I really want to see what happens if I throw this there <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Experiment number one. Look. Abey. Kuch nahi ho ra. Abey phekenge. The tooti ya. Another one. One more ice. Whoa. Yar, bilkul gat khatam hai ye. This is. <laughs> It's like walking in Narnia. It just started snowing as well. It's so beautiful and magical. Wow. And as we were ending the trail, I was blessed with this beautiful snowfall. I think this was the perfect way to end this beautiful winter getaway. And if you're thinking about going to Muskoka Lakes this winter for an off-season trip, definitely go there and definitely go on this trail because it is the most beautiful thing ever. And by the end of it, I was pretty sure that winters are not that bad. The season may be pretty harsh and depressing, but if you know how to make the most of your time, you will get rewarded with some beautiful memories like this one and would want to experience it more. And yes, Hari Lakes Provincial Park did live up to its name and did live up to the hype. It is the best place for a winter hike. And we also saw a beaver, it started snowing, the path was really nice. You just need to be careful about where you are stepping and what you are doing. But apart from that, it is probably one of the best places to experience winter hiking in Toronto. I don't think I could have ended this trip better than this. And if you're still sticking around, don't forget to give me a sub and a like. And I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!